Well, this is the new Stovax Huntingdon stone. It's very much a sort of cast iron, traditional aesthetic from uh, Stovax, which I quite like. I think it suits the slightly battered and beaten fireplace look <laughs> that we've <laughs> obviously very deliberately gone for. Um, not at all, sort of accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a few sizes coming out, and obviously this is very much our first impressions, first look. So I will be able to talk to you about the different sizes and uh, you know what relevance they have. It's an interesting handle. Yeah, and it's got like a hang on, ready? Listen. Oh, that's a good clunk. It is a proper clunk, isn't it? It, mm. it is ninety degrees, isn't it? It's ninety degrees and no more, which is great for me. Not so great for Amy. <laughs> very much held out of this get away I think that's wobbling a bit because I perhaps haven't I think that I think I need it. to play around with the um, leg leveling and there are little yeah oh yeah there's little leg levelers so you can get it sort of properly set up so it's not just making that horrible rattle all the time we seem to have a single air control <laughs> That feels perfectly nice, but then there's a, it's like you're, maybe I'm not supposed to click it past that point. That feels sensible. It's just that right at the end, do you see what I mean? I'm probably not supposed to click it past that point. That's probably just, probably. just me being rough. What's inside? All right, okay. Patience. It's a nice stove. They, they're very well packaged. As you know, I'm a big fan of packaging, mm. and that's very proper, isn't it? It's very proper. Oh, mate, it's look. Stovacs. Oh, it's got nice labels on it and everything. Mm. I like that. Oh, look at this. Look at that. This is this must be the tool. This is unbelievable. Look at that. Oh, it we was. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. I suppose mostly you just use the glove for that. Mm. Oh, so there's an ash pan, but I'm not. Shouldn't you only do the ash pan when it's cold? Maybe. I... I'm not sure. There's a grate. Oh, and we can riddle the grate. Something going on there. Oh, it's nice. It's sort of mm. nicely cut and fits in your hand and... Yeah, that's quite like ergonomic, that bit, isn't it? Yeah, maybe it is just for riddling. Oh, hello. What have we got here? That is... Um, Very important. That... Just, just, just don't argue. <laughs> Very important stuff. Very important. I would guess, this is my best guess, this bolts to the rear heat shield and protects the collar so that if you have an insulated flu, you can have this all closer to combustibles and all that sort of thing. So my guess is that's just hidden behind the collar if you want it to be. Mm -hmm. We will find out. We have a blanking plate, which you would use if you were going to use the um, rear outlet, because this, this cast iron top is actually a convection top, so it, it lifts off. So this would be a cast iron plate that just sat in there, a bit like a hot plate. Does um, this get hot? It being convection, does the top get hot? Not as, I mean, it will get hot, but not no. as hot. Um, Could you like boil a kettle on it? It's not well suited to boiling a kettle. Although if you had a rear outlet and you had this hot plate. That, that bit probably would get hot. That might get hot enough to, to boil a kettle in. Mm. Yeah, it'd be sort of interesting, but ordinarily you want a solid topped stove and obviously stovax do those i suppose this is a bit more aesthetic and you want something more functional yeah i'm going to think of like a, a version that they do like a county mm -hmm. uh stovax county would be like there would be no lift off top it would be a solid yeah. top and that would be i mean it looks like a more functional thing and then we have oh interesting so stovax send you a can of um rope glue oh. which Actually, like, no matter who you are, no matter what stove or what manufacturer, you will have a stove every once in a while where 
all rope falls off or um, you know a little bit comes away. Normally that's because somebody's lit the stove, all the paint has to cure, which means it becomes a little bit tacky. And so when you're first lighting a stove, you have to sort of open the door occasionally and allow that paint on the inside to cure off. And it's not really the fault of the manufacturer, it's just unlucky or whatever. Um, but being said rope glue is fantastically useful because I can imagine that stops all sorts of arguments if there were ever a teething problem or something like that. So that's nice. Um, I like the bricks, they've got Stovac stamped in them and they're reeded. What are you reading? Sorry, the warning is just so funny that like people are so... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you judging people? <laughs> the outer casing, front and glass panel become extremely hot during operation and will result in serious injury and burns if touched. It's just, like, it's a fire. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel sorry that they have to do that sort of thing now. It is a bit lame, that, isn't yeah. it? Anyway, yeah. sorry, the fire bricks have... Um, yeah, they have nice reading in them. They do. And they have the name. Yeah. And we have a, a cool... Where's that tool? I want to do the grate. I want to see it. Ah, oh, okay. I like that. What? Why, what's, up, what's up with that? I should, you just get excited about things, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's two bits of metal that move, <laughs> and, and that's that's all I need really. I get more excited by the like, the look. You know, the look uh, well, of it. okay, and well, especially when the fires. Okay, so it's boring now because the fire's not lit. But no, tell... no, 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 it's not boring now. No. Okay, you're happy. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like the look of it. It's, it's got more a... traditional, but with like a big piece of nice glass. Big glass. Yeah, yeah. You won't know this, but it's got it's sort of um, uh, quite Stockton in its look. Um, which is another range by Stovax. Um, uh, the, the, you know, these sort of corners here, they very much remind me of the sort of Stockton look. But yeah, I quite like it. I like the sort of, um, the, the casting um, design. It's just sensible. They've, they've got a sort of steel inner body, um, which I've no doubt they use on other models. So you get the sort of engine um, and they've put all this sort of cast iron all around it um, to give it a totally different look and it's really smart. I like that, I don't think I've seen that before. What? Installation instructions and lighting and user instructions. I quite like that. Have you noticed, Aim? Mm. They oh, obviously yeah. do different trace, I think they call it a tracery. Um, so they obviously do um, some sort of optional tracery, which is, I have to say, much more Huntingdon looking. Right. That was always the sort of Huntingdon, you know, I'm sure it was always an option, but it mm. was, has that sort of, almost sort of gothic church yeah. look. Well, I'm very excited to play around with uh, some new stove axes. Um, we went to see them recently and see their, their, they're like the biggest stove manufacturer in the UK, um, which when we saw it, we, we were intimidated. Um, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, imagine like the biggest Tesco you've ever seen, and then times it by like 20. <laughs> That's their setup. To be fair, uh, I think from what they were saying though, they've only just yeah, they, they, made the move into something more professional. I remember I watched a programme about Apple, and it was like, oh, as Apple grew, they were like, oh, we have buildings all over California. It was just a complete yeah. mess. And then they've created that really posh, like, ring. I think they spent a billion dollars making this building. It was obviously mm. very posh. Um, and Stovax obviously haven't done that. But <laughs> but it seems sort of on that, you know, they'd had, like, oh, we had a warehouse here and, a uh, you know, where we manufactured there. And, oh, that was the welding shop. That was the painting shop. Now they've got everything all in one. It was just really exciting to see because it... It wasn't like, oh, you know, um, well that, you know, that gets shipped in and, you know, we spray it and mm -hmm. bolt the door on. Oh, no, no, no. It was like, oh, you know, there's the welding, there's the cutting, there's the stamping, there's the, you know, it was like, yeah, it happens here. That yeah. was in Exeter, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, and the guy who showed us around, like, his knowledge was just, because he had to know about all the different parts of, you know, the, yeah. the painting, the welding. You loved all that, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we're going to make lots of more videos about this stove and, um, yeah, come along for the journey. Obviously, drop us a comment if you've got any other questions, but, um, yeah, this would be a fun one to give a start. Thanks a lot.